thinking of selling your home? You may have heard of the importance of staging your home and you may be asking what is home staging and why is it so important to a successful home sale? How can I inexpensively DIY stage my home? Trying to get your home sold? Check out these 13 DIY home staging tips to get your home sold and for top dollar. In today's video, I'll share with you what home staging is and what it is not. I will also share with you some great, easy, and inexpensive home staging tips that will outline how to stage your home to sell, things that you can do on your own, as well as some home staging mistakes to avoid. At the end of this video, I'll also tell you how you can get a free copy of the book, Home Staging for Home Sellers. Home staging is a powerful marketing tool that showcases the best features of your home. The way in which the property is presented tells a story about the home. It demonstrates to the buyers how they can live in the home and the best ways in which they can utilize the various spaces within the property. Home staging is different from home design, interior design, or home decor in that home staging specifically speaks to the presentation of the home for selling. The purpose of home design and decor is to express the individuality of the person living in the home, using their style, taste, and color palettes to make them feel at home. Home staging, on the other hand, showcases the home's features in a way that anyone can feel comfortable in the space. Home staging is neutral in its approach and is meant to appeal to a wide range of potential home buyers. Staging is a welcome invitation to buyers to come and explore the home's best features. Home staging enables the home buyer to envision themselves themselves living in the property. It allows buyers to immerse themselves in the positive features of the house, the lifestyle that is portrayed, and ultimately draws on emotions that invites the buyers to fall in love with your home. And who wouldn't want to buy a home that they were in love with? Staged homes sell faster and for more money. Buyers see depictions of homes on TV home shows and 61% of buyers request to see homes that resemble the ones that they saw on TV. These TV shows have raised the expectations and the standards that buyers now place on homes that they wish to buy. If you're thinking of selling, staging your home will prove to be a valuable marketing tool, beginning with how buyers see your home online, which then translates into increased traffic to the house and great your exposure is always good news for home sellers. The areas of the home that are best served by staging include the exterior curb appeal, living rooms, kitchens, primary bedrooms, dining rooms, home office spaces, and bathrooms. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the process of getting your home ready to sell and some simple and relatively inexpensive DIY home staging tips that you can use to help sell your home. Now stay tuned to the end because I will also let you know how you can get your free copy of the DIY home staging book. Now here are some simple design and home staging tips as well as some common staging mistakes to avoid. So where to begin on your home staging journey? Begin on the outside. Think curb appeal. Begin on the outside because that's where buyers will begin their journey. Buyers will make a positive or negative assessment of your home within the first three to seven seconds of viewing it. Make sure that your driveway is in good repair, that the lawn is cut, and that the gardens are neat and tidy. Consider adding mulch to the gardens and edging the flower beds. Look at the paint on the exterior. Is the color and condition of the paint in good repair? If not, consider painting front doors, shutters, and garage doors. Make sure that pathways and entryways are clear of debris and make sure that exterior lighting is working and clean. Now speaking of lighting, no one wants to live in a dark gloomy house. So check your light fixtures. Are they modern or old and dated? Are there dead bugs caught within the light fixtures? Are all the bulbs working and are all the bulbs throughout the home of the same maximum wattage and color tone. Did you know that not all light bulbs are created equal? Light bulbs come in different brightness levels and color tones from warm to bright to daylight to neutral light and beyond. Make sure the color and tone throughout your home is constant and of the highest wattage possible. Be careful not to choose a harsh or overly bright tone because it tends to be hard on the eyes. Window treatments. Windows allow all the natural light to shine in. Make sure that the windows in your home are sparkling clean. Consider removing screens so that exterior views are unobstructed, especially on the main floor living areas. When hanging drapes,
drapery, choose light and airy fabrics. White shears look clean and they allow natural light to enter the room. When hanging the drapery, here's an expert tip. Mount the drapery rods four inches above the window and four inches wider than the window frame. This makes the windows appear larger. Have the drapes hang to the floor. This draws the eyes upwards and makes the ceilings appear higher. Carpeting. If you have small carpets throughout your home, remove them. Small carpets here and there in hallways and kitchens and bathrooms and even small rugs that are too small for the room and the, the size of the furniture makes the rooms look chopped up and cluttered, making it look smaller. If your room has an area rug, ensure that it is the right size for the space and that the furniture can fit onto the carpet area. Again, think in terms of lighter neutral colors and minimal patterns, if any. Wall decor. Take down any personal wall decor items such as family photos. Let the buyer see the space and let them envision themselves in the space. They don't need to spend their time visiting a home and looking at your personal family photos. Also make sure that any wall decor adds to the space and not deters from it. For example, a large animal head or a wall piece of art that doesn't enhance the area really should be removed. Less is better. Pink colors. We spoke about how bright, clean homes attract and that the homes with neutral decor colors uh, can go with any potential buyer's personal belongings and furnitures. If the paint was done some years ago and is trendy or dark or bold colors, consider repainting it in light neutral colors that will go with any potential buyer's decor items. Smells. Ensure that the home smells nice and clean. Be wary of pet odors and food odors, candles, and room refresheners. Uh, consider opening the windows for a few minutes before your buyer guests arrive to area the space. Now let's talk about principal use of rooms. Each room should have one intended use. Now what do I mean by that? A dining room should not be seen as a dining room slash office slash craft station. A dining room shown as a dining room with one focal point. Showcase the room's best features. A fireplace, a large window with a great view overlooking the gardens, the inviting seating area. You get the idea. Living rooms. Ensure that this space is inviting with a seating area, but not overcrowded with too much furniture. Also ensure that there are clear pathways to essential areas such as windows or fireplaces. Decorative pillows and throws and a few thoughtful decor items on the coffee table help to make the space inviting. Think in terms of some hardcover design books, fresh flowers, a decorative tray and trinket. Now when grouping your accessories, do it in odd numbers such as threes or fives to add added interest. Kitchens. The kitchen is the heart of the home and this space can help to sell the home. Here are some tips when staging your kitchen area. Remove knickknacks from the tops of cabinet areas. This includes plants, plates, and floral greenery. Having stuff on top of your cabinets not only gives the room a cluttered feeling, it also causes the ceiling height to appear shorter. Clear away all of that over cabinet clutter. Now speaking of clutter, keep your counters clutter free. Remove kitchen paper towels racks, knife and utensil holders, large appliances, food, papers, magnets, calendars, and notepads on the fridge. Ensure that your kitchen is clutter-free and sparkling clean. Remember to keep the fridge and stove clean and the sinks clean free of dishes and watermarks. Bathrooms. Spa-like bathrooms are inviting. Light color walls, white towels, white shower curtains if they're needed, and minimal decor items on the counter. Leaves the space feeling clean and well-maintained. Speaking of maintaining, make sure that the caulking is done around the uh, tub and that the toilet seats are down and that garbage containers are removed or clear of garbage. Bedrooms. Bedrooms are where we go to relax and unwind at the end of the day. They are sanctuary space. Create an inviting feeling to your bedroom spaces. Take special care in staging your primary bedroom. Don't forget to dress the bed. Now what do I mean by that? Ensure that your bed has a nice neutral bedding. Think abundance of pillows to create a soft inviting space. Add some blankets or throws, a pop of color with a plant or a piece or an art piece on the nightstand. If the room has space, consider adding a chair for that added feeling of relaxation. You can add texture to the room by thinking in terms of large areas
area carpets, uh, pillows, throws, a wicker basket, and potentially some drapery. Remember the bedroom area should be just that, a bedroom area. No work or desk spaces, please. Entry foyer spaces. The entry to your home is the first and the last space your buyer visitors will experience. So make it memorable. Bright, light, clean, and inviting. Consider adding a large mirror or hall table or a bench to the area if the space permits. And fresh flowers, add a pop of color and a light scent. There you have it. 13 simple, inexpensive, expensive DIY do-it-yourself home staging tips and tricks and ideas and some mistakes to avoid when preparing your home to sell. For a free copy of my DIY home staging book, simply message me below or scan the QR code for access or you can call me direct. My name is Evelyn Lopez with the Evelyn Lopez Realty Team and iPro Realty and I'm here to help.